Today we're playing golf with 14 clubs in 14 holes. The rules are simple. If you use a club, you lose a club. Things could get weird. Things are getting interesting. Unreal. Unreal, <laughs> Gary. You ready? I'm ready. We pre-picked all of our clubs mm -hmm. for each hole. We don't know what we picked. And the thing is, you have to only use one club on that hole. Yeah. So hole one, I chose six iron. Here, here are the 14 clubs. Here you guys go. 14 clubs right there. See them? And six iron is now gone, because I, I picked it. What'd you yep. pick on hole one? I picked pitching wedge. Okay. Pitching wedge on hole one. And like I said, yeah, we don't know what we each other picked. So yeah. we had different strategies. We mapped out the course, we saw the holes, and we strategized, I strategized as much as possible. Towards the end, it was kind of just like, we're just gonna throw what clubs yeah. we have left. I mean, the putter, that's a tough situation. I'm gonna have to almost hit this pretty easy off the tee, like chip a six iron onto the green, pretty much. That should be just under a full swing from there, so I like it. Are you gonna try and bone this? I'm one? gonna try to bone it. Really? <laughs> I can be picking up after the first shot. <laughs> we'll see. A bold <laughs> there's a lot. Up. There's a lot of wilderness out there. First tee, trying to bone one is insane. Yeah, and try to, It's downwind. If I can hit a good bone pitching wedge, I might be able to hit a normal pitching wedge on the second shot. So we'll see. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> That's the best one I've ever done. You're gonna have too short into the hole. That's maybe the first time I've ever boned one on purpose, like perfectly. Garrett does it every <laughs> damn time. This is right up Brad and I's alley today. Uh, we'll play lift clean in place, yeah? It's a little muddy, it's a little wet. I got 167. And I'm actually, I'm gonna go with a six iron here, believe it or not. Try a high fade, a little flop shot, you guys know. But that's fun, Ryder. Yeah. Should be putting there. Come on. A little downwind, so it's a little too much club, actually, yeah, like Garrett said. 132 yards up to 135, which normally would be a pretty perfect pitching wedge, but it is downwind, so I'm going to take a little bit off of this. But yeah, I mean, that's, I can't, I couldn't have asked for a better first tee shot. What you doing there, Skippy? Oh my gosh. What a start. <laughs> we might see a birdie on hole one. We're Dude, really wait. Good. What if we go under par? That's the goal. Let's let's set the goal. Under par? Yeah. I think it's possible. As of now, I haven't made a bogey since last year. Um, so, bogey free. Dude, this is so fun. I love doing this stuff. This is <laughs> this is right up Brad and I's alley. Six iron is the hardest one to putt with. Five and six iron are the two worst clubs, in my opinion, for this. Yeah, can we also just you know show some respect that it is New Year's Day. We were all up till 12:30 last night, and we're out here grinding. And our tea time this morning was 8:50, like an hour away <laughs> from the Airbnb. So it's been we're, we're all running on a little sleep right now. I'm on five so, hours. What about you? About probably about the same, five six. Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like 10 feet short. No, mine was the same way. I thought I left my way short. I hate when you're trying to blade a putt like that and it just Dude, immediately hops off this the face. It's so fun because now we only have 13 clubs. Big dog. There we go, big dog. <laughs> Dude, you're just getting your wedges out of the way yeah. quick, huh? Yeah. That's actually, I feel like that could except, be a smart play. Except for the lob wedge. I kept the lob wedge for a while. Just, well, sh that was just the most pointless strategy. I was thinking keep the lob wedge for a while, like I could use it the during the. Yeah, round. You can't use it in a useful way. You, you live and you learn. Club. Live and you learn. Should be a perfect par. Fi uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk today. What's that thing called? Five iron. This should be a perfect five iron. I have a fifty degree gap wedge. Mm -hmm. Way to hold you follow through there. Thanks. Gotta really take in the good shots when you get them. Play it kind of like last hole, just bone this first one and probably have to bone the second one too. So we'll see. A lot of boners today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting better at it, Brad. I'm so, I'm like, I'm very steep player. That's the weird thing about this match is because while you're hitting these clubs, I need to take advantage of it. Yeah. Because I'll be hitting those clubs in the future and you're gonna be taking advantage of me. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I didn't hit that tee shot terrible with the 50 degree, but it wasn't quite as good as like the first tee shot was with the pitching wedge. I'm just gonna hit a pretty normal gap wedge. It's gonna be like two good gap wedges in now. So try to lay up to a good distance. I'm gonna guess I'll probably have like 120 yards in. Here I am trying to play five iron because I thought it out and I thought it would be enough club to get there. I'm actually now at a disadvantage because this is gonna be short. I also didn't know it was gonna be this end of the wind, but. I think we might be putting or just left of the green. Back into the wind uphill, so I wish I was a little further up, but I'm just gonna hood the face a little bit, try to keep it low. I think I can still get this there. That was pretty good distance. 20, 25 feet, if I had to guess. The number to the restaurant bar is not available right now. Mm. 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 Want to see my trick? All right. Yep. Yes! You got it? I got it. Wow. I don't know if you can see the gum at all when they're Really, shot, you can't see it. Put a trace <laughs> on the gum. Weird one. You either want to bone it or you don't. And I don't really know which one to do. A little right to left. I got to take advantage of Brad here and win this hole. He's got a par putt. We two putt. Hopefully he misses it. I caught it. I caught it too pure. I didn't bone it enough. No. Yeah. Hey, we could have a little switch switcheroo here. Make this a little miss from Garrett. This would be a pretty nice par with 50 degrees, so. Oh, I hammered. I hammer boned it. Oh, 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 looks like that could be a potential one up lead here. I'm not going to count my chickens before the hatch, though. All right. Wow. First bogey of 2024. I was so ready to make that and be like, still bogey free. <laughs> I, that's weird. I thought that was big right? Interesting. I gotta be taking advantage of those opportunities. That's so unfortunate. All square through two. Now my five iron's gone. I've lost some of my artillery today. Brad's currently... See, Brad somehow just tied me with two wedges and boning both of them. I lost a couple of my good clubs, unfortunately, and I didn't take advantage of them. So, on to the next. What's your favorite club? Oh man, I, my snot almost just blew into your face. Oh, that would have been terrible. Yeah, I'll exclude 60 degree and putter. Is, are these the blacks or the blues? Uh, black. It's so probably the blacks. Probably, I like eight iron a lot. Okay, we just went to the whites. Oh, is there another T-box over there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure those were the blues. Those are those are the blacks that we saw right there. I liked it is. Um, I didn't plan for this, boys. I didn't plan for this. Okay, we'll go to blues. No, it's fine. We'll no, we'll go to blues. We're playing it, we're playing We'll go to blues. Fun. I wish I had three wood or something here. Oh, like this? Yeah, that looks, that seems really nice. I got a four iron. If I kill this, if and I mean kill this, like, you know what? No, there's no way I'm getting there in two, but we're going to try. Yep. I don't know, I hit it as hard as I could. Great ball. It's a great ball. Thank you. A little, a little spinnier than I wanted. Not mad about it. Let's do stroke play, screw it. Let's do stroke, let's do stroke, play. let's do it. I mean, we're not gonna screw up the whole that bad. <laughs> That's only make an eight. <laughs> I like stroke play. Let's do stroke It makes it I, I also kinda wanna see what I shoot. I, we're one over, both of us are one yeah. over through two. I think if with one club and 14 clubs, we should try and set like a record. And then for everybody at home, you guys go and try this too. Yeah. I'm actually not that much further behind your three, but yeah. that's embarrassing to be honest. I know, it That is, is really it sad. Is. I suck. Actually, that's still really good to me. <laughs> 241 to the green. I think I can actually get this, boys. I think this is actually the right club. That is so freaking money. Oh. There's a little slope there too, Woo maybe. Yes! Come on, baby! What a shot by the young boy. That's for an eagle. The young American boy. Hey, to be honest, I was playing that tee actually helped me when I thought it was gonna hurt. Yeah, you jabroni. 191 yards, threw it in hand. I mean, it's not terrible. Like I can still do something with this. This might need to be good. Set. Set. 
right. Look. I saw the bush it went into. That's the shot I wanted, just not that hard. Dude, we were just talking about stroke plate things could get weird. Dang, that was such a stripey three wood too. It was money. You weren't even trying to get super aggressive with it like you did. You, that was kind no. of on accident or not? I also thought that was fairway in front of the pin, so I would have been stuck in the bunker if I hit the shot I wanted. Yeah, that would have been rough. I really just got rid of all my long irons, I just realized. You did, you that, did. That sucks. Bold strategy. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that you? Oh, <laughs> oh that's the biggest letdown of all time. <laughs> right in, I think it was this bush, right? That's not it. Oh, oh. Not it. One right there, one right there. God, it's a cow away, but not mine. Oh, here's another one. Oh. Ow, I just put myself in the eye. <laughs> you... Gosh dang it. We, we should be able to find this. Well. We agreed I'd just drop here. We couldn't find my ball. Found a lot of other balls. Not mine. Take a drop, take a penalty. So this will be my fourth shot. Ooh, hang on a minute. Sit. Sit. Not bad. Sit. All right, not terrible. You gotta, you gotta look at it. Here's the deal. This is for an eagle with a four iron, which would be quite the eagle. This would get me to one under. Oh no 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 oh no no channel dude Oh no Oh no what do you mean? I'm oh. telling you I I thought I left that like three feet short. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's about for me. No Garrett. That's actually frustrating. My goal is to shoot like even par today, so I can't be letting those opportunities slide away. One over, through three, to two over. Two over. Through three. <laughs> Nice. I looked at the par three distances on the scorecard and tried to match up. I wanted to get the right clubs for the par threes. So this one scorecard's at like 161 or something, so I picked nine iron. But actually it's 153 and it's about 20 yards downhill playing 133 downwind. So really it's like a 56 degree hole. Not the best planning there for me, but you know, it could be worse. I could be hitting driver or something, I don't know. Go! It is a little short, but we got a putt. Go. Oh my. When that landed, I thought it was gonna land, uh, it was gonna bounce a little more. Yeah. And maybe have a chance. Brad and I are both on the green. I wanna see this one fall. It's a bit of a ways. About probably 25 feet up the hill. I finally feel like somewhat comfortable about blading one right now, because I actually have a wedge. Where's the break? Where's the break? Well, I just saw a perfect read from Garrett. His ball literally like went over my mark. Inside left, left edge. No way. No way. <laughs> wow. Squares it up. First birdie 2024. Wow. Nine iron only. Oh, good bird. Big dog. This is the Garrett version of the meme. Big dog. All right. Oh, big D stick for yeah. both of us. Two big dogs Whoa. right here. Hey, we learned something from yesterday. It's a long hole. Yeah. Kind of is gonna feel weird to actually have the right club in hand though. It is. On the tee box. It kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. That's all right, we'll get through it. All right, go ahead, big dog. Okay. Also, we're playing everything as hazard today, just so everyone yeah. knows at home. That was hammer. That is hammer cut. It's a good ball. Thank you. Also hammer cut. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, good that one's running good too. Kick. That's running like it stole something. All right, so this, this hole is very, <laughs> this hole is very downhill and it's downwind. I will say that. And we also land like where our drivers land. It's on the speed slot where it bounces down. But I think we both just hit like almost 500 yard drops. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, let's see. How do I do this? Measure. We're, we're from this box to here. That's why is it in meters? 460. I'm 465 yards. And just, yeah. I hit it 465 and Garrett's like 25 ahead of me. <laughs> 493. 493. Wow. That might be the longest drive in YouTube golf history. Actually, yeah. That might actually be the longest drive ever recorded by a non-log driver. I'm not Kyle Berkshire, by the way. Not Martin Borgmeyer. Look at that slope, though. I mean, it is, 
that's what you guys don't really see is that massive downhill slope downwind so pretty cool <laughs> 493 that that is now a record book for me as the longest drive i've ever hit that's crazy i mean yeah they only carried maybe 320 but still here we are we took driver on this whole both of us i know we did because we looked at the scorecard and we thought to ourselves we're gonna have 300 yards in it's a 620 yard hole but i have 123 <laughs> literally 500 yards all right i'm probably like 145 yards in so the pin's like back middle there's bunker like in line with the pin left edge of it is in line with the pin so i'm gonna try to go a little left of the pin and get on the left side oh no go gosh go I was scared of like just bombing it because Long would be screwed here with the driver. Not driver, good. driver, albatross, come on. Imagine. <laughs> I topped it. I literally topped it. I topped the ball. I actually topped it. Me and Garrett are kind of playing this whole same exact way right now. We're both down here short. Not a bad spot though. We could have we could have gone long and been screwed. We could go on that bunker and been screwed. Probably about the best case scenario for bad shots. Honestly, I thought I hit that pretty good distance when I first hit it, man. Come on, Garrett. Go. Pretty nice. Go. Yeah, good shot. Go. All right, I really want to make that. That's to get my round back to even par. After the missed opportunities that I've had, it would be nice to see this one fall. Let's try to get some close and make our par get out of here. No way. No way. Oh. oh. Stay at one over par. I didn't really expect Brad to make a bogey there in that position, but it is what Sick it is. Sick drive though. Sick drive. I have a 60 degree. I don't know if it's the worst play to be honest. And honestly, honestly, honest, if I'm being honest, not gonna lie, I honestly could probably just hit a normal shot. This is a risk reward right here. With the bone? I'm gonna bone it. Yeah, didn't quite catch it. Yeah, all right. It didn't bone it to its fullest potential, but should be able to get up and down for par from there. Be even par still. What do you have? I got six iron. 182, probably playing like 165. I'll, I'll get a little saute in there. I think my play was smart using 60 degree here. I still feel very good about it. Not I'll, bad. I'll take that. Get that up enough far. Ryder and I are currently in an intense game of backgammon. Ooh, I hate this. I was just recently told that we're playing a different back nine than we originally planned for. <laughs> so the clubs are gonna be a little messed up. Hey, we're actually playing a different back nine than we planned for, so our clubs are gonna be a little janky. Right. I got a putter on a 430 yard par four. Okay. Cheers. What the? Terrible golf shot, Garrett. Wow! Pretty good leave, you know, all things considered. Might be able to get a shot here on Garrett if he misses that putt. Oh! oh. My, I thought I made that the entire way. Ugh. That would have been two for two on the par three. <laughs> yes! Come on! Come on! Snagged by the third baseman right there. I know. <laughs> Jeff's in for my par. Ooh, Ooh pretty good right. snag by the shortstop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Two good pars there. I have a three iron here. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get it in two. What do you have? I have five. I forgot this hole's into the wind, so I didn't know it was going to be the wind. Even though it's left of the fairway, that's a good spot to be. I'm just playing three shot hole. I like it. A little stinger five iron. That was sick. Good ball. Thank you. Yep. All right. We'll take that. We'll take that. I wanted to let it be known that before we started the round, Ryder was like, hmm, hey, you know what? At least we haven't been having any windy days out here in California. And here we are. Five minutes after he says it, now it's blowing like 20 out here. Oh, all right. Bad, weird swing, but 
I think that's gonna be perfect at least. So. Either I try and go over this tree or hit a hook three iron. Hook three iron sounds a lot more fun. Honestly, I probably could just chip out. I'll hit a hook three iron. Why not? No, it just clipped it. With what? I can't see. The top of the hill. Oh, huh? Are you safe? I'm good. I just, okay. It's a little layup, I guess, right. on accident. It's gonna be so sick if it ends up working out. Clip this post this to TikTok if this works out. 123, full swing three iron. Ah, it's all right. I got like 95 yards here, five iron obviously. And Garrett went with like the super high slice method. And I'm just gonna go with the run, the bump and run up there. So, a little left of the pin, should break right the whole way up. Oh God. Freaking pulled it and it had to run through that rough and just killed it. It's all right, I can get up and out for par. That's a tough shot. I think I actually hit that shot like with the right amount of power. If I'd hit the line I wanted. Cause I was wanting to run it through the fairway not through that rough next to the bunker. If I go in the fairway, I think it's actually pretty good, pretty good distance. But instead I'm like 20 yards short. Wow, that's short. I thought if anything, when I hit that, I thought I hit it a little too hard. If we make par here, we're really in a good spot. I'm gonna land it right here. I'm picking my spot, right? No, 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 no. Hit the pin, hit the pin! Raggy. Oh, raggy. So we get your strokes back here. Yep. Make this a little par. Maybe you miss from old carrot. Things pretty dead straight. Maybe break a little right. Nope. Pushed it. Pushed it. Yes. All right. Let's still tie him up on this hole. Unreal. Yes. One over through. What is that? Seven or eight? Eight. Eight. Seven. Eight. Thanks. One over through seven. <laughs> I don't love my choice. I don't love my choice. What did you pick? 56. I forgot the wind was, I didn't know the wind was gonna be like this. I have a 52. We're both kind of friggity pretty, fracked, pretty if I'm being honest. Yeah, we might have to lay up. It's a yeah. 290 yard par four, and we might have to lay up on the second shot. No. No! <laughs> Hell. Safe at least. <laughs> no. <laughs> it backs on like 30 feet. It's definitely a three shot hole for me. God, Boney is just, it's a risky play. No! Oh, no. God! We'll find it. Like y'all saw, I just straight up topped that, trying to bone it. Now I'm in kind of some thick stuff. Should be able to get the club through it though. Should try to hit normal. Get as far down there as possible. Maybe I can get the second, the third shot on the green. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to lay that one up too, I'm afraid. What a bad hole to pick a wedge on. I know. And here we both thought, we were thinking to ourselves, this is a perfect hole to use one of our yeah. short wedges. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna hit it normal. The thing is, if I hit it normal, it's still gonna have a ways, I feel like. Well, not clear. But I think I'll have a nice wedge in from there. This is a choices. This is decisions, decisions. You know you want to. I, I want to. That's just a big number waiting to happen. I'm, I'm laying up, I'm laying if up. If it was match play, you 100% would. Yeah, That's where it's but different. stroke play, I, I'm almost like, it'd be double at worst if I lay up. Yeah, I'm laying up. Yeah, good ball. Thank you. Smart shot. Should be a good yardage in now. I thought about boning it, but it's just a crap short, crap long. That just sounded like a big number waiting to happen. All right, here we go. 109, pretty perfect number to be honest, back into the wind. 52 degree in hand, obviously. Wind's gotta push it right. Should come off the slope, should be good. I think that's a little short, but we gotta put it par. We'll take it. Good layup there, I got 95 yards, which is, and it's a little into the wind, just like a perfect sand wedge. Got a little backstop behind the pin. Let's get this one close, make the putt, get bogey. I would take a bogey 100 days out of 100 days. Stop wind. Stop wind. Wind freaking blew that thing so far right. Oh my. Oh no, Brad. Hey, solid contact, dude. Anything can happen because I have a lot of my bad clubs left. That nice roll. Unreal. Unreal, <laughs> Gary. 
putty machine with your non putters. I can't wait till he gets the putter and misses the putt. Yeah, I know it's, it's like gonna a happen. Three yeah. Nice. Five over, Garrett's one over. I mean, with this challenge, anything can happen. One, one bad club for a single hole for him, and it could be a quadruple bogey. Who knows? 148 to carry the shortest part of the water. That's all I'm looking at. I picked a seven iron, but it's so into the wind, I can't get this to the hole. This is a 180 yard hole. So we both picked seven iron and it's dead into the wind. And we didn't know it was gonna be that way, so. Right, that should be fun. That's gotta carry, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's all I was aiming at. I didn't even aim at the pen. There was no chance I was carrying the water. I really wanna go at the green, but I have to, I have to, to wait it out for the wind on the call like make sure it calms down like right now i'm gonna hit anyone was gonna do it it'd be brad that might be short mm. i think it crossed up there though on a hook i'll let you drop across the water i wasn't trying to go that far left <laughs> yeah, i was trying to go at the like right edge of the green maybe right side gosh brad it's air right my ball is almost pin high actually so could have been a little more aggressive with it i don't mind this though air on the right side play for you know, maybe a par, most likely a bogey. No. You gotta carry over the fringe, Garrett. Pretty nice bounce off the fringe, but I needed to carry that to the green. I took my drop. I still have a really tough shot though, because I have seven iron, I gotta get over this hill. If I leave it short, it's rolling back in the water. Nice. That was a good distance. I thought I aimed far enough right for that hill, but I just took it left. This is for one over and nine holes, which is good. That's very impressive. No, I'm I very <laughs> happy with it. It's I was gonna say it's a little better than expected. If you make this and your strokes gain putting with this front nine would be like four. Really? Probably. I see what you did. You got in my head a little bit there. That's smart. Two over on the front nine. That's all. We got five holes left. I want to try and shoot even par. I think it's possible. I need to make this. I need to start making these putts if I want to have a chance. No way, Brad. Now, that might have been the momentum I needed. Four behind with five to play. Anything, I mean, that's, that's in play. Six over for Brad on the front nine. Two over for me. Five holes left. I think that putt is what Brad needed, kind of what he said. That keeps this match within reach for Brad, so I don't love that. Par five into the wind, I got three wood. That was uh, my club of choice on this hole. That's all right. Oh, Now's well, your time. Well. Now's your time with the well, putter. Well, well, well. Something about it, I just didn't feel good about that shot. No. Oh. Sit, 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 sit. Or roll down go. the path. Go. Okay, yeah, get on the path. I actually had the right club too. Three wood was the right club. Yeah. I just wanted to let it be known again. This of course has three nines. The other day we played a different nine. We thought we were playing that same one. So I picked putter for a completely different hole. I didn't realize it was gonna be a 550 yard par five into the wind uphill with crap on both sides. We'll try to make it work. Luckily this stayed in. Give myself a nice lie in the rough. Let's try this again. A little, a little cut down there with the putter. Yeah. All right. I mean, look at that contact. Looked for my ball for about 30 seconds, found about eight balls walked out. Net positive, even with losing a ball. 330, can't get it there. Technically third shot. Wait. Is that out again? No way. This ain't good. Actually, 236 carry. I might be okay. We'll see. 230 yards uphill into the wind. I'm gonna try to hit like a high draw. It's not about high, obviously. Let's try to get up there around the green some more. Did. All right. Somehow got that to draw pretty well. My ball is. You're not even gonna believe where my ball is. This looks sus. It really does. But this is where my ball ended up. It was 236 to carry, and I guess I got really lucky. I don't have much of a swing. However, I can technically get this up and down for par. Go. No. We can make that for par. Nothing in front of. In front of the green here. So nothing in my way, which is nice. I can just hit a normal putt. I have to hit it hard, obviously, but if I can somehow get something down and make par with a putter on this par five, I'd be very impressed with myself. Right. 
All right, we get, we're on the green though, we're putting, but far. This would be unreal right here. If I could somehow up and down or make it, I mean, obviously crazier things have happened. This is for the par. Knocked it in for bogey, can't complain. Got like 30 feet up the hill, breaking right for just my crazy par. This would be wild. Come on, let's see if I can make this. Take, take my bogey. Into the wind with a putter is crazy. No! Double? Yeah. <laughs> no. So you were four back and now you're two back. You just had a putter and you beat me by two on that hole. <laughs> that is tough. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I still have to use my putter at some point. Things are getting interesting around here. 167 par three, I have a nine iron. I have a nine iron putter, or I wanna say it's nine iron putter, 56 degree eight iron for my next couple holes. So I don't know, anything can happen. What do you have? Lob wedge. Honestly, down one. Are you gonna all. try and bone it or are you gonna? No, I'm just gonna hood it. I think you can probably get this thing. Yeah, I can hood it, hit like a compressed hook. Let the wind, let it ride the wind. I think I can get it there, so. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it down, like I said, aim right. Let it kind of hook with the wind. I should at least definitely get on the green. Hopefully I can get it back, to, back there to where the pin is. Chunky. Yeah, I didn't hit that very solid. Wow. You're not used to having the perfect club. I know. Having the right club is not fun. Oh, lordy lord. This is not good. Mine's safe. Y'all probably saw it. Um, it's probably 35 yards from the pin. Back there in the fairway. Uh, it's getting a little low. Bump and run 60. Hopefully hit it close. Both not used to having the right club. Makes it hard when all you're doing is playing with the wrong club. My ball's actually okay. I mean, I have a shot. I don't, I kind of have some weeds in my way, but I'm just glad I have a swing. I have an iron in hand here, obviously. Uh, didn't really come out, Dad. That's all right, though. We just two putt, make a bogey. Keeps that six over. I don't want to count Brad out of it, though. I, I can see him making this. Hit the hole, hit the hole. Hit the hole. Oh. I was almost like playing for the miss hit because I haven't been hitting the equator of the ball very well. This would be an amazing par. Keep me at five over. Oh, it shot left. And it still missed right, so I'm kind of happy it shot left. Yeah. Nice. Eight over to six over, I believe. On to our last, what is it, three holes? I think last three holes, next hole's over 400 yards and I got a putter. We'll see. what it comes down to. It's anyone's game right now. What do you have? I got eight iron, which I like. You have the perfect club, low key. It's like 410 yards, I think. Downwind, so that's probably playing like 380. I might have to like, I might still hammer on this first eight iron. Yep. Money. That was about as hard as I can hit it. Run a little bit, don't just Yeah. Position A right there. I got putter. No, 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 you drew it? The bummer is I killed that. I think I have a lot of distance in me with the putter. That was unfortunate how it went left. I should be able to drop up there. Look at that one, Ryder. Look at that one. All right, this tee box to there, I wanna know how far I hit that putter. I think that might've went like 285. We just now see what this hole looks like. That's a lot of gunch in front of the green. And Garrett has, oh, there's a bridge and everything. <laughs> Garrett is screwed. <laughs> I mean, it's like a canyon in front of the green. What, you, you good? All right, good luck on the second shot. Not joking, he might have to putt it across the bridge. <laughs> That'd be so sweet. I gotta go over water with the putter. Yep, hey. I just said, you might have to go over the bridge. I got eight irons, probably playing like 155. So I gotta take a little bit off of this. But all in all, I'm happy I don't have a putter in right now. So <laughs> that's that's a win. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit, 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 sit. All right. Like 
think I see it like 30 feet long of the pin. Could be wrong, but hit a good shot. She didn't quite hit easy enough. Felt nice though. This is the first hole in a while where I've like, I feel like I've had the right club. This dude is practice swinging with the, he's like gonna hit it with the back of the club so it's lofted. If he pulls this off and hits like the on the green. I've been taking practice swings, so let's look down at this putter, all right? Let's dissect this. In theory, if I was a left-handed player, this wouldn't be bad. That might loft it in the air. Or we try and just hit way behind it, like this, create some loft, like that. <laughs> went under it. Got loft. Got under it, okay. That's pretty impressive that I just went <laughs> under a putter. What the? No, oh. no, no! Okay, I have a two shot lead. Do I go for, I take my drop, but since we're playing it up today, this is my drop, right? Now I have a little bit of a T. No, no, sit, <laughs> sit, sit, please sit. That's that was draw. tough to watch, that was tough to watch. I feel bad for him in a way just because, like I was saying, we did not know anything about those nine holes. We didn't know we were gonna be playing this nine holes. And he picked putter on maybe the worst hole on the entire property to have to pick a putter. So it wasn't his fault, but it happened that way. Ball's in play. I'm for six. To the last three holes, losing everything. This is for the triple. This would be a really good triple. That's a really good triple. That's a really good triple. That's a really good triple. No! All right. Oh, I'm filming this hawk. Oh, birds fly into the wind. So he's down the hill, breaking hard right to the left, right? And just focusing on speed, trying to get this down too. Obviously, I'm gonna have a lead after this hole, so maybe I make that lead one more by making this. If I make this, I'm two down. That's an unfortunate thing to say after. Can you just step on your ball? Yeah. <laughs> no way. It's okay. Everything's all right. What was that? That was a nine. I'm just gonna put a triangle on it, okay. okay. Yep. That blew up in my face pretty fast. I didn't really see that coming. I couldn't have predicted that. Three down, two to play. Who would have thought? I think I got a 50 60 read here, too. Wow. We just drove up to this hole, and there's a canyon. Right. 170 yard force carry. <laughs> If he doesn't phone it perfectly, then he's screwed. Lock in, baby. Lock in. I got two iron in this hole, so it should be great for this tee shot. It's like perfect for this tee shot. Second shot might be dicey. We'll worry about that in a second. Uh, anything can really, really anything can happen in this challenge, so I wouldn't count myself out. You just hit a perfect two iron to there, scares yeah. me. I have no chance of getting this over. I'm gonna try and just lay it up on the tee box and then bone it from there. <laughs> I mean, you're in perfect position. I, I will say, the second shot looks pretty daunting with a two iron. So yeah. Some, I mean, I, who knows? I need to see how far, realistically, I need to see how far it is to carry from here. Cause I think I still might need to blade it, no? Just carried. We'll take that, we'll take that. I don't really have much of a chance if I'm being completely honest. I can reach out without boning it, I think. Ooh. Here's the deal. My real, realistically, my chance of tying this hole is to get this one over the water or over the creek and then hole out. So that's what we gotta play for. Okay. Two, three. Four shot hole. This is, uh, it worked out. It worked out. I definitely got the 
better into the stick on, on this nine that we did not know about in the guessing of the club. So I got two iron again, 175 yards to the pin uphill. So I was worried, there's this big canyon here. I was worried that it was gonna be a lot of forced carry and but actually there's it's like a little canyon and a lot of a lot of fairway to run it up so as long as i get it over the canyon and somewhat straight and just let it run up there i'll be fine stay left get right keep going went a little further right than i wanted to but i think it's safe up there that might i don't want to say it that might secure the wind for me that shot right there 99 yards full swing 56 degree this for a par it's must make pretty much I got very lucky here. Like I said, that shot went a little further right than I wanted, but luckily all this is rough, so it just hung up here. On the upslope, which is huge, because now I can at least like loft my two iron a little bit on this little shot. So not super easy, but at least got a chance. Open the face up, get up there somewhere on the green, and hopefully make the putt. Oh, good try there, Brad. A little 20 footer for par, two putt that at the worst, and uh, might be in good shape going to the last hole. This putt's gonna be really quick. Just focus on the speed. Just try to get two putt at worst. Quicker than that. Go. I have to see it. Went from five up on the front nine to now four down. That's how quick things can get out of hand with this one club challenge. I will say it's a fun challenge. We said we wanted to shoot even par today. It's also on a course that we really haven't seen that much. So I think I think even par is definitely possible. We go to a course that we we know. I think even one under par is in play. Definitely, you'd have to plot it out really well. This is literally a perfect four iron for Brad. This is the exact club he would hit if he was playing his own ball. I don't know, I'm gonna try and rip an eight iron. And I mean like bone it to the moon. Ooh, come on, Ooh. go! Wow. <laughs> 40 yards short of the green. Damn. Oh no. That's fine, left side. Atlanta. Should be your, safe. Your pin high left is just off the green. Okay, sweet. I pulled the crap out of that and chunked it. I thought it was gonna be terrible. The wind luckily took it to the right. Now I'm in a pretty good spot. Let's see if I can finish it off with a bird. You know, maybe an eagle. That was as far as I could hit an eight iron and we're actually almost on the green. Like I said, a good shot a little too late. Let's just see if we can finish strong with an eagle or something crazy. I just keep thinking to myself how frustrating it is that I had a five shot lead after nine holes <laughs> and I'm about to lose by five. Finish strong. Chipping. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One by five. Oh man. Peace.